Hey, 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 guys! Um, no worries, I'm still here kicking and rock and roll. And Metal Chef, welcome you! Hey, ya, baby! Hey, I'm sorry it was out for a while, uh, you know, busy with all different things, but now I am kind of stuck at home with the coronavirus outbreak. Not working uh, much and um, got few extra hours to kill every day. So I said, well, let's go work on some recipes, uh, which will be good to use it up some stuff. Uh, it started getting kind of, you know, close to expiration date and uh, with those hard times, we don't want to waste food, especially now. So, eh, let's go do this thing. I'm gonna make a soup recipe today. I'm not big in soups myself. I don't really care for it much, but you have to do what you have to do sometimes. And I like always, thank you everybody for watching me. Dziękuję bardzo wszystkim. And let's go do this thing. I learned from my grandmother to never waste uh, anything pretty much. You know, and she taught me uh, when I'm roasting chickens, turkeys, or roasts to save the, if I'm not making gravy off of it, save up the uh, juices. Put it in the freezer, then take off the fat off, throw it away, and you got beautiful, beautiful sauce or soup. Or today we're gonna be doing ch beer chowder stock. So I got this wonderful, actually, this one is turkey stuck from roasting some turkey legs I save up those uh, delicious uh, infused juices I skim off the fat when it was frozen put it in a wok because I like wok this way baby I like to use the wok for any type of cooking and because it's gonna be your chowder we're gonna do add some Beer, you have anything you have on a hand. I got some uh, uh, couple beers left after the Uwe and uh, Knecht Ruprecht visit me and hang out, but they didn't drink it. So I got some leftover. So when I use it up, I'm adding the bottle of beer to my boiling stock. Smells good, but I don't drink it, like you know, guys. Those days are over for me. And bring up to boil, <coughs> get the alcohol and bitterness out a little bit, and start boiling, boiling, boiling. Not boiling, boiling. Sorry, folks. In the meantime, we got uh, three carrots. They've been hanging out for a while. I need to reuse them. Some onions. I got half a tomato. It's gonna bounce and three cloves of garlic. I should saute it off, you know, follow the steps of the La France cuisine or, you know, other high-end cuisines, but again, tough times, we have to save energy, so our electric bill is a little bit lower, everything counts. So, to my stock, I'm adding all my vegetables. You can add potatoes, you can add celery, you can add parsnip, whatever you have whatever you want to use it up, but that's what I got, that's what I'm flying with. So bring them to the boil and make the vegetables soft. And we're going to do speed demonstration really quick because I cannot wait another half an hour till the vegetables are cooked. So I follow uh, steps. You know, I already got lots of seasonings in my stock. You can use the stock, you can add water, <coughs> and add some bouillon cubes, bay leaf I have it during the roasting so I'm not adding because I already got paprika and pepper and bay leaves and allspice so I got all those infusions inside of my <coughs> soup because like I said I saved the roasting liquid from my roasted turkey so I got all those delicious uh, flavors going, going, going. So then, you know, I will add a little bit more pepper because I'm this kind of spicy guy, you know what I mean? Psst, huh, not really. I'm an ugly bastard, but what the hell. So, like always, try to keep your areas really nice and neat and clean. Then, uh, you know, you can make a roux. 
using the battery but with the less walking and not working that much I try to save up again and the calories so I'm making a little bit lower fat instead of using a classical rule to take up the um, chowder I'm gonna use the just regular flour with some milk it was getting close to expiration date so I'm gonna get uh, three uh, teaspoons, not teaspoon, tablespoons of uh, all-purpose flour, two cups of milk, and I'm just gonna whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, make it to this slushy, which will be thickening agent, and also add a little bit, you know, uh, creaminess because that's a dairy product to my soup, to my chowder to my beer, beer chowder make it nice and thick but I cannot wait right now till vegetables get soft because then I have to be on a camera bullshitting you to death for another at least half an hour so let's go cook those vegetables when they are soft and ready to go alright always remember don't boil your utensils in a pot okay with your sauces or you you frying something it's not a good idea especially if they plastic they will melt and uh, the flavor will be a little bit awkward so when you got your slushy ready and the vegetables are soft like I said you can use the potatoes I mean you got a little bit of rice you wanna put some rice in it you know to make a little bit more hearty I will serve actually I got some old bread in a freezer I'll cube it up I'll toss with some olive oil garlic uh, maybe some rosemary and uh, cracked black pepper a touch of parmesan I'll toss them up I'll put them in a baking sheet stick them in a oven making nice golden crisp and that's how I'm gonna say serve my soup with those uh, bread croutons on the top of it so you get one uh, hearty soup can be one uh, dish meal you know I mean the times are a little bit tough guys I understand it's hard to you know uh, find some stuff sometimes but you have to work with what you got thanks to my grandmother my mom you know my family when I live in the uh, communist regime Poland and the economy collapsed and it was really tough times I kind of learned how to use whatever I got to make something really good and special and I will always be thankful to especially my grandmother she taught me from the time I was a young boy she lived through the World War II, she lived through the communist oppression uh, solidarity uprising and all those you know tough times and she always make sure we get something decent to eat even it was made from very very humble ingredients so yeah, let's go continue when the, again when the soup is uh, ready to thicken you add your thickening a dairy agent and after that's done bring up to boil simmer for a few minutes in lower heat check for uh, a seasoning S salt pepper you know uh, you can add some a little bit paprika I uh, like to eat, add even a touch of nutmeg if you have it and then in the end of it everything is done I got a bunch of parsley and dill have to be chopped up and rock and roll it when the soup is ready I will stir my green vegetables into it you can add some spinach if you have on hand you can even use the if uh, you got some uh, spring mix, salad mix will be really actually nice just before serving toss it into your uh, chowder and you're ready to rock and roll okay you get nice hot filling and nutritious and delicious hopefully chowder to feed yourself and your family so again thank you again for watching me dziękuję bardzo wszystkim keep it rock and rolling stay safe stay healthy and please remember it's brighter the day tomorrow we'll th live through this and it will kick ass again and please don't forget to smile
to your uh, family members, neighbors or even strangers that means a lot because without it we'll just be grumpy old pricks and we don't need it hey keep it rock and roll and metal chef Mad max love ya and booyah till next time yeah <laughs>